EFT tapping, it is also another wonderful tool for letting go of things that we hold on to both in our physical body and in our emotional body and uh, the memories and this kind of stuck traumas and emotional triggers that we have. And I really thank Kelly for opening up our energy system this morning because I think it'll make the tapping that much more effective. I think you guys, I, I think it'll just be really deep this time because we're, our energy um, systems, are, our chakras are so in alignment and chugging away. So like Cindy said, I wanna talk today about the fact that our lives are not at all what we expected them to be right now. And some of you may have experienced shock. Uh, some of you may have been like, okay, you know, I can do this, but the longer it goes, the more surreal it's seeming and the more difficult it is to believe that this is our life right now. This is how we're living right now. And it, it just doesn't seem like it should be that way. Uh, whenever I think about this, I think about World War II and how, you know, it must have dawned on people over time. Wow, this is what we're living in. Life is no longer normal. Life is no longer what we thought it would be. It's, we're in a, in a war and then it lasts four years. Now we know for sure coronavirus is not going to last for four years, um, but there is a lot of uncertainty and that really adds to our stress and anxiety around this time is that the unknown. We don't know, we don't know who we're going to become. We don't know what the world's going to become. There's a lot of uncertainty. So we know that what we thought our normal life was is no longer true, at least at this point in time. We know that the plans that we had, whether it was a trip or um, just, you know, living normal life, they're not happening right now. And, um, and, and we just, that's like I said earlier, we don't know what's going to happen. So I thought today we would tap through all that, that anxiety, that fear, that unknowingness. Um, and so I want to ask you to just take, if you have a piece of paper or just in your head, or if you open up a, uh, a uh, Word document on your computer, just let's just take 30 seconds and just write down three, four things that you either really miss doing or that you had had plans to do and they're not happening. They've been canceled or at least postponed until sometime in the future. So let's just take 30 seconds and do that. Okay, if you, if you want, you can certainly share that in the chat, if that's something that you're willing or wanting to do is to share that. I'll tell you mine, one is that uh, I'm writing a second book and I was supposed to go to DC in early May to, uh, to, to work with my book publisher. And another is I had started booking speaking engagements to talk about my book and my work and that those aren't happening. And then the next one is, I really, 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 really wanna spend New Year's Eve in Paris. And who knows if I'm going to be able to. So that's my, my big goal for this year was to spend New Year's Eve in Paris. And well, we'll see if it happens, right? So, um, but I know there are lots of people, there's so many birthdays that people aren't able to celebrate with their loved ones. There's graduations that aren't happening, proms. There's uh, so many things that, you know, people just have had to let go of. And so let's do some tapping, um, just on that, that, like letting go and grieving, allowing ourselves to grieve and to be sad for what we've lost and acknowledge them so that we don't hold on to them, so that we don't think of ourselves um, as victims, 
as we don't so we don't try to blame someone whether it's the current administration or china or anyone else we don't need to be in blame it doesn't serve us it doesn't serve the world i appreciate um the things that you guys have put on there vacations time with friends and extended family going to the gym i know that's a big one for people going to tahoe and san diego to lead and be a guest in a retreat a daughter's prom being able to do hands-on healing sessions. Yeah, those are all things that we can't do right now. So um, we just need to, like if we, we could just ignore this, you know, and just like ignore the fact that, that we're kind of grieving the loss of these things. Uh, but it's really better to process them now and let them go and acknowledge it so that we can move forward, so that we can be, you know, build our resilience, so that we can start seeing into the future with some possibilities and some hope. So um, that's why I wanted to do kind of the, the tapping today on this, so we can kind of empower ourselves, even while we're still stuck at home. Oh, wait, that's called sh shelter in place. <laughs> okay, so if you haven't done EFT before, you're gonna learn it by doing it. And uh, just a few things, if you don't wanna tap on your face, you can tap just above the places on the face. You can tap with either hand. Um, in some places you can tap with both hands if you're comfortable. Um, the first thing that we start with is the karate chop point. And it's the only time we, we tap on the karate chop point. It's the side of your hand just below the little finger. And the, the setup statement is always, even though I have this problem, and then a statement align, acknowledging and accepting that you are where you're at right now. So um, then from the karate chop point, I'm just going to walk through the points really quickly. You don't have to remember them, but the top of the head, you can tap, tap with like two fingers, the middle, the inside of the eyebrow, right, as it's next to the nose, the side of the eye, which is the bone next to your eye under the eye, under the nose, the crease of the chin, the collarbone point, which is not right on the collarbone, but just below it where there's a little indentation. And then under the arm, which is about four inches below the armpit. And then we start again at the top of the head. So um, if I'm looking down, it's because I just I wrote a script out so I wouldn't forget anything. So um, let's go ahead and start with our karate chop point. And oh, one last thing, I'm sorry. I'm going to say words and you're going to repeat them out loud unless there are different words that resonate more with you. So if I said, I'm angry and you're really hurt, then I would say, I'm so angry, you would say, I'm so hurt. And I'm also gonna have a couple of times when I say, I really miss and I'm gonna stop. And you're gonna say those things that you wrote down, You know, one of those things that you wrote down. So we'll have, three of those. So you're, you'll actually be tap, um, saying out loud the things that you wrote down. Okay. So let's start with the karate chop point. Even though I mourn what I've lost and I wish I, my, and I wish my life had not been so disrupted, I deeply and completely accept myself. So, and again, you're going to repeat the words out loud as best if you can. Repeat them out loud. Now go to the top of the head. This is not how I expected my life to be right now. Top of the eye. I want my old life back. Side of the eye. I really miss. Under the eye, I miss under the nose. I sure wish I could on the chin. I love doing those things and I can't right now on the collarbone. I don't know when I'll be able to do them again. Under the arm. And I had planned to go to Paris. 
top of the head. I was looking forward to that. I was really counting on that. Top of the eye. I don't know if I'll ever be able to do it. Side of the eye. There's just so much uncertainty. So much unknowing. Under the eye. Things will probably never be the same. Under the nose. That's really sad in some ways. On the chin. I don't want to have to go through this. On the collarbone. I wish things had stayed the same. I don't want to live through this time in history. Under the arm. And I have no idea what's going to happen. Top of the head. And it seems like no one else does either. No, not even the experts. Quote, right? The quote experts. <laughs> Top of the eye, who will I become after this? Side of the eye, what's going to happen to the world? To my world? Under the eye, I had all these expectations of how my life was going to go. Under the nose. I never expected this. It's surreal. On the collarbone, I can't believe this is happening. I grieve for all that I have lost. Under the arm, it's so unfair. This isn't what I planned on. Top of the head. I acknowledge that this is a moment of suffering. Top of the eye. I acknowledge my feelings of loss and grief. Side of the eye. Life never will be the same. Under the eye, maybe that's not 100% bad. Under the nose, there are parts of my life that I miss and will want to resume. On the chin, there are other parts of my life that maybe I don't miss all that much. On the collarbone, I get to choose which I bring back and which I don't. Under the arm. Having this time has broken the binds of what I am expected to do. Last round. Top of the head. I get to choose what feeds me and release what doesn't. Top of the eye, having this time to reset can be eye-opening. Side of the eye, it's giving me permission to review my life. Under the eye, I could choose to stay stuck and paralyzed and in denial. I could just ignore this, just wait till life gets back to normal. Under the nose, I don't know if that would be in my best interest. On the chin, I prefer to see what good can come out of this. 
on the collarbone. I accept I'm grieving and I accept the good that's coming out of this. Under the arm, I see the possibilities and I'm energized by them. So that was a long tapping round. So go ahead and take a deep breath. And some practitioner here, I forgot to tell you at the very beginning to check in with yourself and how you're feeling on a scale of zero to 10, uh, how you're, the intensity of your emotions around the grief or the sense of loss that you have. So maybe you can think back to that time, but let's go ahead and, and check in now on a scale of zero to 10 with zero being no intensity and 10 being highest intensity, where are you feeling right now around this sense of loss? And you can tap it, type it in the chat if you're willing, if, you, if that's something you'd like to do. And I think for me, the part that um, is, is most uh, affirming for me right now is knowing that I have the choice there's so much in our lives that we grew into that got built up over time. And then we felt like it was just part of our lives. So we just kept doing them. And now this is such a, a great time to really consider, is that still something I'm, I want to do? Is that still something I want to commit my time and energy to? So thank you, Diane, one to two, that was Franz down to a five, Suzanne on a three and Ben down to a two. So uh, I hope that that was lower than when you started <laughs> since we didn't do the starting point. And um, I think I'm, I'm about out of time. So let me just ask you just to take a deep breath in through the heart and back out through the heart. And you can use the tapping exercise at home and just um, you can keep tapping really until you get your intensity level down to a zero if that would feel good for you.